Today, I'm going to be making something really fun. We're going to do stained glass cookies for the holidays. And here are the ingredients that we need. I've got some little candies here. I've got some red ones and some green ones. Now, if you've got lollipops or a candy that's a solid color, it's going to work better than what I'm showing you, but I don't have any of those on hand, so this is what I'm using. Okay, these are both peppermint flavor. I also have some sugar cookie dough, and that is the Wilton's sugar cookie recipe. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. I'm also using a couple of different cookie cutters and a little piping bag tip that we're going to be using to cut out the little center of each cookie so that we can use our candy to make the stained glass. So those are the ingredients and the equipment, so let's get started. So here's my cookie dough. So like I was saying before, this is the Wilton recipe. So you can find that on their website, but I'll also link to a video where I actually made this. This is, this is their exact recipe. And there we go. And we're just gonna roll it out a little bit. This is a really fast video, so it's not gonna be one of my typical 15 or 20 minute videos. This is gonna be pretty quick. There we go. Just wanna keep it circular. Okay, roll it out, just give it a little bit of a spin. And if it sticks at all, mine's not sticking, but you can grab an offset spatula and just slide it underneath, just like that. There we go. And if you find your cookie dough is a little bit on the dry side, you can put a little bit of butter into the dough and just squeeze it around or put it back in your blender you know your mixer okay so that's good so now what we're gonna do I'm just gonna make sure that this is not sticking I'm just gonna slide that underneath there we go beautiful alright so what I'm gonna do now I'll start off with our little Christmas wreath So we'll just cut that down and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you can use anything you have, any kind of circle that you have. I'm just going to go like that right in the middle and just pop that out. There we go. I will then take our little wreath here and place it on my tray. So I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to do a few of these. So grab your little cutter. Just make a little hole. There we go. There we go. And I'll pop that one onto the tray. And we'll do a star. And then I'll just cut a hole in the middle. And I'm cutting the hole out, and that's going to be for our little candy. There we go. I think I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, I've just zoomed out a little bit because it wasn't... Sometimes it's nice to see close up, but then you don't see all the action. So let's do another one. Just pop that middle out. Get the spatula underneath. That's just to keep the integrity of our shape. There we go. Uh, where's my little gingerbread fellow. There we go. Just get right there. Pop that down. And I'll put oh, the circle right in the middle. Say right there. So just get that in there like that. There we go. And get my spatula right under there. There we go. And get him on right there. Beautiful. That looks great. Now what other... Let's see. I'll do another... I've got two of those. I'll do another star. Stars are fun. Now you could do this with anything. You could do this with the candies that I'm using. You could use um, crushed up candy canes. Or you can use lollipops. And anything that has a solid color, 
the end product is going to look nicer because you're going to have a solid green or a solid red whereas with these candies it's it's a little of both however the kids love them and the um, you know the cookie ends up tasting great anyway so I'm not too worried about it I just thought I would just show you how to make these they're very very fun and very simple and something different that not everybody does so there we go oh. Well, that one there we're going to do again. See? There we go. And then what you do is this, this dough really, really works well. You just squeeze it all back up into a ball and start over. Okay, so there we have our cookies. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab these little candies and I don't even break them up. So let's try a red one in there. And a green one in there. Now I do these 12 minutes, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you could take them out at 11. You've got to watch them. When you see them, when the the candy around 10 minutes it will really start melting and then finally it will kind of just spread over and at, by 12 minutes they're done you take them out you could probably take them out at 11 minutes I'll let you know exactly how long I do them and let's do one more of the how many we got there we go and we'll do one more green okay perfect so here we go so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop these into my 350 degree oven Maximum of 12 minutes, probably ele around 11 minutes. So I'll let you know exactly. I will be back when they're done. I'll just show you them very quickly. So that's all I've done. There's no need for any kind of paper or anything underneath. You don't need to grease this. Just pop them on like that. And the secret is to let the cookie cool and they just pop right off. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, I've got the... I'm recording here and I just wanted to show you there we go I just had to start my camera before I pulled these out so I just just pulled these out and what happened 10 seconds before I pulled them out they were all bubbling the the, the candy lifts up and now they're already falling down so there we go some of them really worked really well this one here a little bit but you can see now since I've even put them there how they've just dropped right in and what's gonna happen is later on when they really cool they'll just slide right off the tray and when you turn them upside down it'll be a nice finish on the bottom completely flat look at that since I've been talking look, look at how nicely they they have become beautiful so what I was saying is that if you're using a solid color you're even gonna get something even nicer but even like this one here turned out very well We've, we still have the little lines which is kinda nice there's a little pattern there that one there's more solid Here's got a nice little, there's a nice little red pattern going on there. So they're not too bad, but uh, there you go. One other thing I wanted to mention is that I baked these exactly 12 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. One thing that I forgot to show you was the bottom of these cookies. And it's a good thing I remembered. So I just want to show you these. So let's just lift it over and show you. And there you go. One thing that you have to be careful about, don't break your teeth on these. Even though the candy's very thin, you know, just be careful when you crunch into them. This one here might be a little harder to get. Hopefully we're not gonna snap it. There we go. So we got all of them undone. I'll flip this guy over too. And yes, I realize now, this is not a gingerbread man. It's Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> and there we go. So you can see how nice that is. And very, very thin. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just break into one of these and just show you. Okay. And there we go. You can hear the nice crunch. And you can see how thin this is. And there we go. And I'll just break it again. And there we go. 
So I just wanted to show you that. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a really, really fast one for today, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.